up gamers? How you doing? Today, my fake gaming headphones, we're going to be talking about my mock. Like you've been with. Alright, hello everybody. We're going to jump into the first small few changes that I've done since the last time we met. So, first off, we have here, instead of being fire coming out of it, like it was just shut off, we have lasers because that's more um, Star Wars Universe accurate. And then this um, hover tank pilot has a backpack right there that I added. Um, this hover tank pilot is a gift from a subscriber. Over here, this um, machine gun also now has lasers coming out of it. And then this first order cannon, I thought would look good with the Imperial side of it. And I added it so it just shot off. It looked more like it just shot off with that fire piece coming out instead of it curling. And then in that chair, it's a little bit modified. Um, because of the modifications, you can um, fit the guy and it looks a lot better. And I modified the cannon part of it. So this is the guy from Rebels, the ATDP pilot. Uh, but right now we're not using that, so. That is the first small changes, so let's jump into the big stuff. All right, so we're gonna jump into the medical bay. Um, I haven't totally finished this part yet, but I just wanna get these videos out. So this should, uh, they have not come in yet, but I was gonna get some stickers and some flat tile pieces and have the little medic, Star Wars medic symbol. But I don't have those right now and I wanna get this video out. So this thing opens up like this and it actually has all the medical stuff in there. We have the doctor with a blaster running out because he hears all the fighting and then there's a patient on the um, surgical stretcher thing. And then over here we have a stretcher on a clip so when they run out they can just grab the stretcher off the top of the thing. And then there's a couple, there's a little bench in there and then all, all little spots that they can lay down on. So that's pretty much the medical tent. Simple, easy, but it is accurate to Star Wars and I wanted a medical. So medical tent, so we're gonna move over here. This is where it kinda gets interesting. We have a nice conference table for all the people. So this is like the main part of the uh, base for all the leaders and the high ranking officers will meet here. And we have this um, official right here. He is an Imperial officer. He is of course lower than Moff Gideon, but Moff Gideon in my time frame had just gotten here when the battle started. So he just jumped off and he's waiting in his, on his desk, very nicely made desk here. And then if you come over to the side, around here, there's actually some control panels, which is cool. And then behind him, he has all these crystals on stud piece, or like one by two, one stud showing things. And they're all different kyber crystals, I'm saying. So we have two yellow kyber crystals, two clear kyber crystals, a pink and a purple and a blue and two green. Uh, I just thought it looked cool with crystals because, you know, um, Grand Admiral Thrawn and he had stuff in his area, like in glass case, but I didn't have any glass case um, stuff that I could fit in here. And also the person from Star Wars Resistance also had something like that, but she had weapons and stuff. So this guy has kyber crystals. If you move over here, this is the little um, screen with the energy. And then this is showing like power of the base and what's going on. And then we have two shadow troopers and a little ball droid. And then over here, this is the 20th anniversary um, shadow trooper with a belt and a Clarma Customs trooper rifle, star trooper rifle. And then if you come over here, I get this rifle back on. Come over here. We have the Inferno squad coming out as they were just told to come out of the base. So, and go fight. So they are running out, well walking out actually. So if I take them away, you can come over here. Legos. <laughs> and you can see if I take them away, this thing actually comes down and closes like a blast door. And then can come all the way up and it looks really nice. And if you come right here, there's a little switch to do that. There's a little lever and control pad. I don't know, I just thought that was a good touch with the big door so you don't, you know, you don't want any grenades flowing in the uh, grand officer's uh, face desk or whatever. So these guys were walking out here like that. And then if you come over here, there's this pilot running to his ship. And he's running to the drop ship because he's going to pick up 
some more troopers to come back to the base for support. Over here is a big giant um, turret slash command, mobile command center. So this is the mobile command center from the Battlefront Battle Pack. And then a nice wall thing uh, that I did around another hover tank pilot, another gift from a subscriber. So here has a nice turret right here. And then this command center has a junior officer at the head of that command center just telling, radioing in uh, what's going on in the battle back to the command. So over here, we have a modified walker from the 2016 um, uh, Death Trooper and Stormtrooper battle pack. And it's modified with a windshield and it's combined one of the first order battle packs with this to make it look really good. So it's got a little light up here for spotting in the dark. It's got triple um, cannons and it has this nice front thing in the front so it can get protected by blasts or whatever. So that's right there charging in and he actually has the old version of the old version. If I can just clip that in, ah, there we go. He's got the old version of the AT-AT -A -A pilot. So because it's the old version, I thought he could just go in there because the new version is more accurate. So this could maybe be for this unknown Imperial vehicle. So this trench is getting absolutely destroyed by me talking. All right, here we go. Now to the last part of the mock over here. It's really nice. We have just a bunch of Imperial crates right here. And it's all this control panel and big giant tower for radioing and calling for help. This is really nice. Got this giant radar disc with a bunch of nice things. It looks like really, really accurate to like even real life. So this is awesome. Took me a while to do this because I could not figure out how to make it look good. And I finally did and I thought it turned out super well. So down here, there's two Imperial Death Star gunners and I'm just using them for just general controllers because I have a lot of them. And I thought they would fit well. So he's looking out in the battle and being like, wait, what the heck? And then these guys are still radioing in and trying to call for support. And then there is a slave Ugnaught right here, working, trying to sweep away the dust from blaster fire, or who knows what. Just a lot of containers and good stuff. And then a custom speeder for transporting uh, people and uh, crates or whatever you need. So they just pulled up to try and get some crates out of here for some supplies for the other parts of the trenches. And then this guy's just looking out at the battlefield. So that's pretty much my mock. And if you enjoyed, I need 25 likes. As I said in the last video, it has not gotten 25 in a couple days, it's only gotten five. So share these videos with your family, friends, anybody. Share them, tell them to like, because if we get 25 likes on these two videos, I'm going to do a collab with Eagle Crest Production and we have something awesome planned, possibly Kashyyyk, who knows? So drop a like, share with your friends, and please consider subscribing. Lucas Arnone, out.